Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel, Under the Radar Books. This is Brittany, and today I want to do my most anticipated releases for February 2016. So the first one on my list is The Vegetarian by Han Kang, and this has already been released in the UK, but it is released on the 2nd of February in the US. I don't know exactly what this is about. It definitely involves a marriage, and I've heard it be called a horror story, so I know there's definitely some dark elements to it. Um, this little blurb says, Celebrated by critics around the world, The Vegetarian is a darkly allegorical, Kafka-esque tale of power, obsession, and one woman's struggle to break free from the violence both without and within her. So I'm really excited for that one. I know that Jean over at uh, Jean's Bookish Thoughts read it, and she really, really enjoyed it, so I can't wait to pick it up. The next book on my list is The Book of Memory by Bettina Gappa. This is also released on the 2nd of February. It says, Memory. The narrator of The Book of Memory is an albino woman languishing in a maximum security pri prison in Zimbabwe after being sentenced for, for murder. As part of her appeal, her lawyer insists that she write down what happened as she remembers it. The death penalty is a mandatory sentence for murder and memory is both literally and metaphorically writing for her life. As the story unfolds, memory reveals that she has been tried and convicted for the murder of Lloyd Hendricks, her adopted father. But who was Lloyd Hendricks, and why does memory feel no remorse for his death? And did everything happen exactly as she remembers it? So that sounds really, really compelling, and I can't wait to pick that one up. Next up on my list is also released on the 2nd of February, and it is Queen of the Night by Alexander Chi. And I originally heard this on the Book Riot podcast, and I know everybody is very excited for it. Um, it is only Chi's second novel, and I know that his first, which I haven't read, um, it got a lot of praise. So if I enjoy this one, I will probably pick up his original novel as well. It's definitely one of the most anticipated novels of the year um, by a lot of critics. Lilia Byrne is a sensation of the Paris Opera, a legendary soprano with every accolade except an original role, every singer's chance at immortality. When one is finally offered to her, she realizes with alarm that the libretto is based on a hidden piece of her past. Only four could have betrayed her. One is dead, one loves her, one wants to own her, and one, she hopes, never thinks of her at all. As she mines her memories for clues, she recalls her life as an orphan who left the American frontier for Europe and was swept into the glitzy, gritty world of the Second Empire Paris. In order to survive, she transformed herself from a hippodrome writer to a courtesan, from an empress maid to a debut singer, all the while weaving a complicated web of romance, obligation, and political intrigue. So this sounds like a really, really amazing historical novel. Um, I don't read very many historical novels, um, but I've heard such glowing praise for Alexander Chi as um, an author that I am really excited to try this one out and see how it goes. The next book on my list is Perfect Days by Rafael Montez and this is released on the 16th of February. And a little blurb for this one is, a twisted young medical student kidnaps the girl of his dreams and embarks on a dark and delirious road trip across Brazil in the English language debut of Brazil's most celebrated young crime writer. So, um, I kind of want to go into it just knowing that, but it sounds so intriguing. Um, I have really been in the mood for some crime novels, so I'm hoping that this will be one that really blows me away, and I'm hoping that they will um, release some more of his novels since he's so well celebrated in Brazil. I'm sure that um, we would also enjoy to read the rest of his novels. The next book is The Girl in the Red Coat by Kate Hamer, and this will be released on the 16th of February as well. And this is a thriller about Beth who is a single mom and she has an eight-year-old daughter who is very adventurous and kind of dreamy like she she just likes to wander off she's very whimsical as a child and so one day she actually ends up wandering off and disappears and the book goes in alternating viewpoints from the mother's point of view and the daughter's point of view it's very thrilling it's been compared to Room by Anna Do Emma Donahue which is one of my favorite books and also um the Light Between Oceans by M.L. Stedman, which is something I've been wanting to get to for a while. So it sounds like it's going to be thought-provoking yet thrilling at the same time. And so I'm very much looking forward to reading this one. And the last book on my list is also going to be released on the 16th of February. And it is a YA novel called The Girl From Everywhere. And this is by Heidi Heilig. And I don't know what this is about. I love the cover, and all I know is that it is about time-traveling pirates, so I think that's all I really need to know about it in order to read it. I mean, who doesn't want to read about time-traveling pirates? So I'm in. You guys know that I love to find some really great YA fiction that is out there, and so I'm definitely up for giving this one a try. 
So that concludes my list of February releases that I am excited for. Um, please let me know if I've missed any that you guys are excited about. I would love to hear about them. And if you guys are interested in any of these and are hoping to pick them up, please let me know that as well. And um, I also wanted to say just a little heads up. Uh, there are some personal things going on in my family and I might be a little bit absent from booktube in the next couple weeks but um, I promise that I will be back and I will try my best to answer some comments and keep posting some videos um, if time permits. So um, until ne the next video um, I hope you guys have a wonderful week and happy reading.